Now, a 10 News Morning Original. New reporting, first at 6. So new this morning, a group wants to bring back the Ocean Beach Mermaid. A 10 News reporter Jared Aaron's in the Live Center about this one. And Jared, they think this mermaid can be become part of the fabric of the community. Yeah, Jason, Virginia, you know, Cardiff has their kook and Lemon Grove has the, uh, the lemon. We got a picture of that, too. And so the people in OB want their mermaid to become one of their civic symbols. Now, they are on a mission to bring her back for good. I never realized how many mermaids there are in OB. In a part of town where mermaids are seemingly everywhere, it's the one that's missing, getting the most attention. I came by here with my wife and I, we saw her, and then the next day she was gone. Marina captured people's hearts and imagination for a few weeks in May and June, and then disappeared. I took my daughter to go see the mermaid, and she was gone. And my daughter started crying, she was really upset. Now Matt Morales is part of a group trying to bring her back. This is gonna be a mission. Claudia Jack is the self-proclaimed leader of Team Mermaid. I have not revealed any names or where or whatever, but that mystery, it's like everything in OB is... Not too quiet. Jack mailed out about 300 Marina postcards to get people involved. She claims she found Marina, but she's keeping that a secret too. Her plan? She cannot return to the rock, okay? Find a new home for the mermaid where she can become a local icon. It's wacky. It's weird and funny, and that's what OB is. So, yeah, I think people will love it. Now, Claudia told me that Marina needs a few repairs, but she should be ready in time for the OB holiday parade in December, and they hope that businesses will want to bid on the right to put her in front of their stores for a few months at a time, and they will use that money for upkeep. In the Live Center, Jared Aarons, 10 News. Thank you, Jared. So Horton Plaza is now under new ownership.